This is The Scoop for Monday. I'm Sean Canan with the WMNF News Headlines. Florida voters will decide whether to add the right of adults to recreationally use cannabis. It's Amendment 3 on the general election ballot. On Friday, WMNF's The Skinny hosted a debate on it. Republican State Senator Joe Gruders represents parts of Manatee and Sarasota counties and spoke in favor of Amendment 3. And for me, it's all about safety. It's about making sure that we don't have adulterated substances, uh, uh, lacing, any type of products they're buying in the illicit market that could be uh, harmful uh, to people. That's number one. And number two, uh, the, just the purchase of buying something illegally. If you could you know, imagine one of your friends buying something and all of a sudden ending up being arrested for it, 16,000 people across Florida were arrested and prosecuted for minor use of possession uh, last year alone. That's State Senator Joe Gruder speaking in favor of Amendment 3. Dr. Jessica Spencer is the Florida Director of Advocacy for Vote No on Amendment 3. I hope that everyone reads the amendment itself and doesn't just read the benign ballot title and ballot summary and understand that words matter and that this is a constitutional amendment. When Senator Gruders is, Gruders is referencing all of these things we can do, you need to look at the words and the words need to be consistent with the language of an implementing bill. And it wouldn't be if we're talking about cultivate and it doesn't exist for individuals. When we're talking about banning public smoking, we're only talking about medical. Please read the language before you go into that ballot box. And after you see the major issues, please vote no. That's Jessica Spencer, the Florida Director of Advocacy for Vote No on Amendment 3. She was a guest on WMNF's The Skin. You can find out all about the constitutional amendments and candidates on the Florida Voter Guide. That's at WMNF.org slash vote. Early in-person voting is in full swing in Florida and the last day to vote or to turn in your mail ballot is a week from tomorrow. In Hillsborough County, voters will decide on whether to renew a community investment tax Plus, they will make a decision about a millage increase that would generate a projected $177 million a year. According to the Tampa Bay Times, $150 million of that would go to the school district, with $27 million set for privately run charter schools. District 7 School Board incumbent Lynn Gray spoke Friday on WMNF's The Skinny in favor of the taxes. Orange County, Sarasota, we have those counties that now pay for teachers an extra six to $10,000 a year. Our teachers in Hillsborough County are leaving to those districts. Um, and if I can just expand on that, the, uh, the other reality is our bus drivers, now 25,000 uh, versus those counties I mentioned are at 36,000. Um, the two components that make a student's life and uplift the students are their point of service, the bus drivers, and their teacher. And that is why I'm so happy that I have this opportunity to explain uh, and all the details uh, that go into the mill. That's Hillsborough School Board member Lynn Gray, who is in favor of the tax. Former Hillsborough School Board member Steve Kona spoke against it. I think it is a travesty that uh, the school district isn't meeting the needs of our of our students. And for them to sit and complain with a $4.3 billion budget that they cannot meet the needs of our students with $4.3 billion, they're spending more per student than any of the surrounding districts. And you can look that up. That's That's a fact. So when they're saying these things, they're actually limiting our students' education. And, and that is a travesty. There should be a school board meeting every single week until you get these vacancies filled. You should hold these people accountable. The school board and the administration has a duty to educate these kids with the money that they have. And they have $4.3 billion. And if you have 500 vacancies and you say you can't compete, then you have to step up and you have to pay people more. And they have the money to do that. They have the reserves to do that. And it's very unfortunate that they're making this the taxpayer's problem when it's the school district's problem. That's former Hillsborough School Board member Steve Kona speaking against tax increases for schools. He was a guest on WMNF's The Skinny. You can hear the full show on WMNF.org. It'll be cloudy, breezy, and hot today with highs in the mid-80s. Tonight, partly cloudy with overnight lows in the mid-60s. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, breezy, and hot with highs in the mid-80s. And there's a slight chance of a rain shower tomorrow. I'm Sean Kanea with the WMNF News Headlines. This is The Scoop, recorded at WMNF Tampa.